Welcome to an online video from the Fourth's Timeline Project. This presentation is part of the Landscape of Inspiration theme. In medieval Scotland, Stirling Castle was the favourite residence of the Stuart Monarchs. This was where they and their followers helped to shape the nation. Some of these people were granted land in nearby Clackmannanshire, where they built new homes. Five of these homes, four towers and a manor house still stand today. Building such houses was costly, stone was expensive and the construction time consuming. It was all a drain on their resources, but for these people that didn't matter. Their towers, which look as if they were built for defence, were actually a demonstration of their wealth and power in a relatively peaceful period of Scotland's history. Soggy Tower is a very high quality structure built of neatly coarse pink sandstone. It was the smartest of all the towers in the county. The interior was not elaborate but would have been well furnished. On the first floor, the Great Hall had a large fireplace where a roaring fire would have kept family and guests cosy. Castle Campbell was probably built in the 15th century by the Stuart family of Lorne, but it was acquired by marriage in about 1466 by Colin Campbell, 1st Earl of Argyle. It then became this Highland family's lowland home. Castle Campbell is the only tower on the trail to have been attacked. The Great Hall and other buildings were destroyed by royalists in retaliation for the Campbell's support of Oliver Cromwell. The family never lived here again. Clackman and Tower stands on King's Seat Hill and has the most dramatic outlook. It was once said that seven counties could be seen from here. David II granted this site to his kinsman, Sir Robert Bruce. Lady Catherine Bruce, the last of the family, lived in the mansion and entertained visitors to the county, including the poet Robert Burns. She knighted him with the sword of her ancestor, King Robert Bruce. Alloa Tower was completed in about 1497. It is one of the finest and largest towers of its type in Scotland. It retains original medieval features such as a first floor well and a splendid oak roof, but it also has alterations like the grand Italianate staircase made by the 6th Earl of Mar as part of his vision to modernise his ancestral home. The towers of Clackmannanshire were once at the heart of larger groups of buildings, which developed according to the fortunes of the families who owned them. The towers alone have survived because of their solid construction. They are a lasting reminder of the powerful families who once helped to shape Scotland. To explore the rich variety of museums, galleries and sites of historic interest in the Fourth Valley, visit www.forthstimeline.net.